Hello everyone, I'm Justin, and for today's video, we're joining an all-girls school. Today, I want to talk about a comedy anime I watched around 9 years ago, that on the surface may look like your typical rom-com harem, but it is actually a well-crafted comedy with just a bit of edginess to appease the male audience. That is right, for today's video, we will be taking a look at Shomin Sample, or, if you want to know the actual full name of the light novel, then it is Shomin Sample. I was abducted by an elite all girls school as a sample commoner. But before we begin, here is a fair warning that I'll be giving some spoilers for the anime as well as the light novel. And with that said, let's move on with the video. As it is usual with light novels that are made into animes, the title basically gives the whole plot. But to be more precise, Let's talk about what the story is about. Our main story follows Kimito, your young average high school student, as he's suddenly abducted by a bunch of muscular men. <laughs> and thrown into an elite all-girls school. And the reason for this is simple. All the girls in this school are heiress to nobility or multinational corporations. They are what you will consider nobility or royalty. Because of that, none of them have an understanding of what is ordinary. They have never seen cell phones, manga, they don't even know how to cross the street. Well, I guess the only way to fix that is to abduct the commoner boy and use him as a sample so the girls can learn about the real world. So yeah, the starting plot is nonsensical. But it helps us to understand the world that Kimito has joined and allows for a bunch of gags and comedy to occur naturally throughout the story. The anime follows Kimito as he enters the school under the pretense that he is gay with a muscle fetish, in order to protect the chastity of the girls of course, when in reality he is a straight guy with a Thai fetish. He is followed by a sadistic maid called Miyuki that makes sure he doesn't cross any line, and quickly becomes friends with Aika, a shy, stubborn and naive introverted girl that wishes to learn more about the commoner world and use it to become popular. Later on, they are joined by Reiko, the polite, cheerful and popular girl of the class that serves as a direct competition to Aika for Kimito's affection. We also get Hakua, the young looking but she's actually 13, antisocial super genius girl that likes to undress when she's thinking. She gets completely attached to Kimito and basically serves as mascot of the group. And Karen, the samurai tsundere girl that serves as a type of knight to Kimito and also is a lolicon towards Hakua. The group is well rounded and each of their unique personalities help to keep the story engaging and allows for a lot of funny situations. Which is helpful, because this anime doesn't have a lot of continuity. The first three episodes serve to introduce our main characters and to basically create the groundwork on how the episodes will develop. Aside from that, there is a two episode story around the middle point where they go to a commoner amusement park, and there is also the two episode finale where they save Reiko. The other five episodes of this 12 episode anime are basically self-contained stories that don't really develop the plot too much. It is just basically made to run gags and have some funny moments which is not bad if you are looking for laughs rather than developing stories. <laughs> but if you're looking for stories, you will still find tidbits of information that help build up the world. Of course, we have the romance of all the girls towards Kimito, and most notably, Aika slowly developing feelings towards him. The other girls like Karen realizing that they have feelings for him, and whatever the fuck this was. Okay, let's stick to this for a minute. Miyuki throughout the whole story has treated him like trash, insulting him at every moment and looking at him with dead eyes every morning, telling him that she wished he never wake up, only to realize now that every morning she wakes him up with a kiss and the reason that she doesn't want him to wake up 
he saw that she can't keep kissing him. This is both the cutest and the weirdest moment in the story. And, of course, there is no explanation on why this happens in the anime. But, if you really want to know, then here it is what I learned from the light novels. They met in the past because he did the old Prince and the Pauper switcheroo with her brother, of course. Because they look similar for some reason. She fell in love with him and later on lost his memories because apparently high fever causes amnesia. There is also the last two episodes that follow Reiko as she is sent to be married and Kimito and the girls go to save her. But aside from those instances, the story is mainly a comedy. And it is actually a really fun comedy. Most of the jokes are made at the expense of Aika as the running gag is that she is so naive that she would believe anything Kimito tells her about the commoner world. Which leads to a bunch of ridiculous situations like believing all high school commoners have superpowers because she read it in a shonen manga. It is also nice to see that they have homages to other stories, like literally showing them reading Yuru Yuri. And of course, we have the typical rom-com situations like misunderstandings that lead to them believing they were proposed, entering the bathroom by mistake, and all the other usual tropes. But at its core, this show is really funny and keeps you entertained throughout the whole run. I do have to say that I was a bit disappointed that the anime only had one season, and with the story finished in 2016 and no new projects in sight, looks like we will have to accept that the story will only have one season. So, if you're interested in following up with the story and to learn more about why Miyuki was giving Kimito a morning kiss every day, then you will have to read the light novel or the manga adaptation. If you're looking for a comedy that has uniqueness to it and a bit of plot to keep you engaged with just the right amount of edgy situations, well, give Shomin Sample a try. It is actually a fun anime to watch. And with that said, we come to the conclusion of this anime review. What do you guys think of Shomin Sample? Let me know in the comments below. Until then, See you guys next time.